So I was staying up late for a parasitology exam. I was like studying when I got done studying. I was trying to go to sleep, and it's like three in the morning or something. So I made an account on a sketchy website, and I well, because it had good features, and like there's not very many good like dating sites for gay men, or at least at the time, like it's better now. But I made an account, and then. I was just kind of browsing, and then Brett messaged me with an alias. <laughs> you have to be yeah, careful no with the picture. internet. You know, no picture, not my name. You understand? You know, to he, he introduced himself as William Woodrow. Yeah. <laughs> Neither of which is. Well, my real name's William. So. Well, it's not really that, like, people are going to hurt you, it's that, you know, if you're being, you know, too upfront about it, people talk about it as, like, being in your face about it, like, you know, I'm not, like, wearing skin-tight jeans, and, like, women's jeans, and, like, wearing glitter, and, like, you know, have a giant rainbow flag on the back of my car, but, you know, like, I feel like I should be able to talk freely about my relationship, because it's just, you know, it's just not much The worst thing about being gay in Kansas is, honestly, um, the gay people in Kansas. Um, not necessarily like it's just indicative of Kansas, but of small areas in general. Um, because whenever you're a minority, like anytime you're in sort of an indie group, you will have a tendency to want to hang out with those people because you find comfort in them. And then this leads to sometimes two bad things, like it leads to being outcast for the group, because then people just look at you as, as a group, as opposed to an individual mingling in. Or it'll create like a group thing, and then everybody in that group will obviously want to do everything the exact same way. And so when you don't have a lot of individuals, the stereotypes and the pattern of behavior become highly constant. Well, just, the only thing that's in common with all gay people is that they have attractions to the same sex. That's the, really the only thing that's similar. There's totally different types of people in the gay community, and that's what I really wish people knew about. Just as many, just as like, just as many differences between straight people there are among gay people. You have all the typical things like race, religion income, whatever. But I mean, there's, there's gay hipsters, there's gay Republicans, there's gay, I don't know, gay hockey players. You know, it's just, it, there's also a certain amount of, like, personality, individuality, you know, it's not, we're not all urban outfitter, you know, shops. We, well, we love road trips. We That's do. So fun. We, like, we, we don't really go to them very often, but we did a really big road trip from, we just, like, planned it, like, the day before. Before. Yeah. The, literally the day before. We planned it, and then we left the next and like a budget of like a thousand dollars, we were under budget, and we that would included, you know, like uh, shopping expenses. Mm -hmm. We went, we went and thrifted in, uh, in New, New York, York City, City. Yeah. Yeah. and then we But we drove from Manhattan to Washington D.C., New York City to Chicago, and back, all in about ten days. Oh, mm -hmm. We camped, we didn't even stay on hotels, we camped along the way. That's how we we would actually have a big boil of water in the morning on the campfire, and that's how we. Have coffee and oatmeal for breakfast. Then we'd stop and have a uh, ramen <laughs> at gas stations with the hot water and the coffee oh, thing. Also, we had we had McDonald's cups and we would go to McDonald's to get free refills and drinks. <laughs> the free refills. Because they're not really specific about it. Because they didn't really say. They didn't really say. You know, you can't cross state lines with this cup. Oh. So but we got I mean, literally we had some the same lunch, cup, but nobody really. Cared nobody really it. cared. Nobody ever said anything. So we figured it was okay. Okay. <laughs> That's Ruby. She's our cat. She sleeps a lot. She really does. <laughs> I know. Like if you don't have the energy for a dog, but you want something more than a fish, 